Requirement: the inter-tenant communication across data centers. What you're going to see here is if I ping to the other gate, uh, data center, 192.168 or 1.100, it's not going to be able to ping. And if you like, go just show IP routes 192.168 or 1.100, we have should be tenant 3. And what I'm going to see is DC2 leap 1 sends to the traffic to border leave as a third E2 host route. This is what we did for uh, all the HIM routes redistribution. And if you take a look at what happened on the border leave, so uh, show IP routes 192, 168, 100, we have 10 and 3. What I'm going to see is the DC2 border leave sends back to uh, the DC2 spine 1 anycast BGW uh, is the WIP IP. It's going to send it to the 202.202.202.202. And if I just put up the DC2 spine 1, and it shows what's going on on the DC2 spine 1. So I put what I'm gonna see is it sends back okay then to the the yeah, BGW DC one spine one which is uh, BGW at DC one. What it got is the e, uh, start thirty two routes host route to uh, tenant one in DC1. When I wanted to reach out to the BGW, of course the BGW will eventually send it to the DC1 leaf one. Then if I open up my DC1 leaf one, I will gonna show IP route. And it reach out to the DC1 server T1 and one host. Where is the traffic ping destination? Why DC1 has no routes back? So that's the question we're gonna ask DC1 leaf one. So show we're gonna show is show IP routes 192.168.3.100. We have it should be 10 and 1 now. Uh, we have the issues here we are seeing is we don't have a routes back to uh, 10 and 3 across the other DC back to DC2. This not only happened to uh, DC1 leaf 1, is also happening to DC1 leaf 2 also. At DC1 leaf 2, we're going to show IP routes 192.168.3.100. We have the tenant 1. It also has no route back to uh, tenant 3 which is in the other DC. Go back to my DC1 leaf 1, which is the leaf you connect to my destination, host the T1, and do we have a D4 route? Show IP route, 0, 0, 0, 0. we have 10 and 1. Of course, we don't have a D4 route even. So at a DC1, we don't have D4 routes, we don't have a specific route back to tenant 3 host. That because the, for the IDC in, uh, connection, we don't support tenant 3. Tenant 3 is only existed in DC2. But we did the AVF leaking from tenant 1 to tenant 3, right? And we even have tenant three D4 routes for border leaf. To take a look at issue more obvious like the ping from DC1 10 and 1 and here you go we can have a ping again and both the T1 
tenant host IP cross that a, a data center in DC one. We cannot ping from my T3 host in other DC. So now we know DCI data center in the connection doesn't support tenant three yet. The default route leaking also apply to the slash 32 host route and t tenant 3 distributes the default route into t1 t1 will not populate to others so that's saying we even populated the t1 default routes but the t1 the default route won't be populated to others unless um, the t1 has its own default routes so it is the origin. DC2 leave one in here when not a popularity for routes to others. That's the issue. And DC2 border if were not a popularity to others because it is not a root refactor or a BGW. Knowing this issue, we will uh, do some changes. At DC2 border leave, the eBGB routes from tenor 3 to tenor 1 we want to filter out and then we want to add a uh, T1 originated uh, default route to tenant 3. So how do we do it? Let's show uh, IP prefix list. We have a perfect list matching all the default routes, the default routes and show roadmap. We're having a raw map, raw map deny import. We're going to deny this default route and we're going to permit everything. So that's what we're trying to do. For Unicast, we will network a default route make it the different router origin. So show round BGP. This is what we have done. Let's go to DC2 leaf one. We show IP route to be F10 and three. we now we're seeing is default routes was three 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 at, at the first the, before this change then we're seeing the the sgid becomes one 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 and now the it becomes the origin and from t ten and one itself next hop is the border leaf Right, border leaf six 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 six. If I now go to um, DC two spine one, uh, we're gonna show IP route VF ten and one. I can see these different routes also exist in my routing table. Now let's ping the host again. The ping is working. We add a host also works. Now we will verify the DC1 leaf 1 indeed has a route back. Show BGP VPN v4 unicast. Is the different routes we will verify tenant one. We have uh, different routes. We have actually one uh, different route to uh, the border BGW. And if I verify the other DC2 leaf one, I want to show BGP VPN4 unicast. I'm going to find out two um, different routes in my BGP and V4 table. One is goes to the BGW and one also goes to the border leaf. 
the border leaf route and the border leaf route different is the different uh, tenant. The te this one is from the tenant one and it's in my route table. The other one goes to, to the border leaf also. This go is uh, originated from the tenant three. Now we have different routes in DC one leaf one. So if I want to go back, you see we have a specific route to go back to 3.100. And we do uh, have, have is the different route to go back to um, the other data center in tenant three. If I go to DC2 spy one, show our IP route, V192, 3.100, VLF is tenant one. It goes to border leaf instead of straight to the leaf one. And border leaf will do a turnover and back to the spy one, uh, back to the leaf one. So the traffic now just look like this way. If the red line is the ping goes to the BGW, BGW to the IDC, to the BGW in DC1, then go to the DC1 leave, and we have the four routes at the DC1 leave back to uh, the DGW, BGW, and BGW send back to border leave. Border leave goes to the DC2 leave one. This the way how we uh, resolve inter-tenant communication across data centers.